Good morning fellow option traders. This is Jeff and welcome to the daily scan for Tuesday, June 10th, 2014. Well, uh, no start announcements yesterday and no start announcements for today. So it should be pretty quiet from scheduled news events perspective. Let's take a look across the ponds. Uh, we're mixed in Asia with a pretty strong um, a bearish day for Shanghai and a relatively strong bullish or I mean bullish day for Shanghai and a very strong bearish day on the Nikkei and everybody else was kind of fell in between there. Hang Seng was uh, pretty bullish too. Over in Europe we're looking mixed as well but mostly bullish. Okay enough about that over here in the states we're seeing a potential of a slight gap down at the open today uh, gold is uh, hanging around 1250 you're actually at a 1253.4 mark and oil is at 104.63 kind of a big jump from yesterday Speaking of yesterday, the only thing that I did was enter this trade on FedEx, which is in the money right now. We'll take a look at that in a minute. And I did not exit F5 Networks because uh, the price was pulling back a little bit. So I thought, well, let's see if we can click a little bit more theta. And we did. So i'm not sure exactly where the loss was at yesterday i think it was around fifty or sixty dollars or more i'm not sure so now we're almost back to even on that okay without any further ado we'll jump right over to the a plus list because the our candidate list is pretty thin and they're just not coming through for us so yesterday we had FedEx, which I did get into, and then we had Gold, Priceline, and TLT on our 20 Delta list. And also, um, let's take a look at Apple here. And speaking of Apple, I did have a couple of um, possible day trades, some uh, um, 50 Delta spreads that I was considering doing on a couple of um, stocks here and on that list was Chipotle, Costco and 3M. Well I actually did um, Chipotle or did I do Apple? I'm not, I think it was Apple and it didn't work out so that was a $75 experiment that didn't work out so let's take a look at the chart. Uh, let's see here. Apple? No, it was not on Apple. Hang on a second. Yes, it was actually Costco that I did that trade on. We'll take a look at that when we get down to it. But looking at Apple right now, um, that would have been a good one. It pulled back a tad the first half hour and then bottomed out and marched up yesterday. That would have been a good uh, day trade on that. If I had more time to spend on this, could do more day trades, but that's not what I'm here for. I'm not a full-time career sit in front of a computer kind of a person at this time. Maybe over the winter I like to kind of day trade because there's not much else to do, but when the weather's nice and you're retired and you're kind of free you want to uh, do what you want to do you don't want to sit in front of a computer all day besides that if I sit down too long then it hurts too much when I get up and start moving again which is another uh, benefit of retirement anyway um, Apple we're looking for a target down here and we don't have it Amazon Pretty much the same story with Amazon right now. We're considering these in an uptrend based on the 20 EMA. Boeing. 
uh, is in an uptrend, a nice solid one. We're waiting for it to come down into our target area. Baidu, we are in on Baidu. This is a 20 delta trade, working out pretty well right now. Uh, we would uh, pop for another 50 delta trade right down here if we could get this stochastic to cooperate. Celgene waiting for a move down here. We may be getting it very soon. Just another bad day might be enough to bring this down here. Bad day meaning maybe a close below this in a, in a nice bit larger range red candle. Maybe a, or a um, pattern similar to this one here would be good. You can see that it only took it now look at a stochastic um, well, that's, yeah, that's actually, the stochastic actually came down on a green candle. And it just took two days to bring it down to our target area. So, let's keep our eye open for this one. Chipotle tried to do that uh, day trade. It was looking really good. The price was right up around here at the open. This is the only time that I would trade be for um, within the first half hour of uh, the open is for a trade like this but it didn't work out cost me some money oh well but we're still in a very strong uptrend and we're still looking to get uh, a stochastic to come down into our 2030 range here Costco uh, did not have a good day. Glad I did not get into this. Uh, oh, yes, we are waiting for a move down here. We might be getting that very soon. If, the, if these follow the way the market is looking uh, pre-market this morning, then we might get these moves down here. Uh, we are definitely in an uptrend on CVX. This was a, um, it was, I mean, it was a good trade. It was risky, but it was a good, it turned out to be a good trade. Now we're looking for another opportunity here. And this might actually be, I'm going to turn it back into a 50 delta. because of the nice strong uptrend that this particular underlying is in. Take a look at the Dow. Another new high. Yawn. Just creeping up there. Uh, Igor. Oh, we had a little bit of a pullback yesterday. Look at this. Wow. That's kind of unusual. And a rather strong pullback. What does it mean? I don't know. There was a pullback. <laughs> anyway, it still managed to close higher than the previous day, even though the candle was red. So we might get a move down here and give us a chance to get in on this particular trade. FedEx, uh, we are in the FedEx with the 50 Delta. Like I mentioned, I didn't mark it on my calendar here, or on my chart. Okay, here it is. The short is at 144, and I got in the last half hour of uh, yesterday. Uh, and it should follow through. I don't have any indication that it will not, so it should continue its march up regardless of what uh, the overall market is doing. F5 Networks is still looking pretty good. I think that an increase in IV here apparently is um, hurting us slightly, but that's where we are with F5. And we'll see how this one works out for us. We are in an uptrend. I'm looking for an entry down here. It might be it might sort of look like an iron condor 
at that time, depending. Um, you know, I could put on a bolt put side of this when it gets down here and do a 50 delta trade on it all at the same time. Nothing says you can't do that. All right, gold. Uh, gold is looking kind of flat. We do have a hook down here on the stochastic, but no confirmation on the MACD. All right, still in our 20 delta setup list on Google. Uh, okay, we're waiting for it to move down into our target area, LinkedIn. Um, what are we in here? Don't know. I'm not sure what LinkedIn is doing right now. So I don't know how to mark it, so we're going to wait for it to make up its mind. 3M is still on a tear. Uh, let's see here. I'm going to move this over to here. And we had this. This would have been a... This would have worked out because probably would have had a delta here. I mean a um, short strike at 145. So that would uh, have worked out at the end of the day. Probably would have made a few bucks on that. But um, after market, it pulled back a tad. So... We'll see if it's going to give us an opportunity, according to our rules, to get in. NDX. Uh, we're waiting for a 20 delta trade down here. Netflix. Waiting for a 50 delta trade down here. It looks like it's very close to being a setup. Priceline. Priceline, da, da, it's still creeping down. I'm putting this on my 20 delta list for today. We'll see if it works out. We need a hookup. But it doesn't look real hopeful. That's a pretty consistent and relatively firm announcement here that, you know what? People are unloading Priceline here at one thousand two hundred and twenty nine dollars a share <laughs> man I'll tell you that's crazy that's crazy but anyway um, we just play them as we see them so we're still waiting for our hook the Russell I must have paid a dividend on this um, no, it would be negative if it paid a dividend. I don't know why there is, uh, I don't know why this is up here. I'm not sure exactly why. But anyway, um, new uptrend, waiting for a 20 delta entry down here. SPX, uh, still in its uptrend. Can't get this stochastic to come down here on this. It's just unbelievable. But we have to be patient. TLT. Oh, yeah, TLT. We're waiting for. Oh, I think we're rolling over here. So I'm going with a yellow 20 delta up here. Yes. That's what I'm waiting for. So we need price to move up just a little bit and then we'll slap on a bear call on this and maybe even if we come back down here again, a bull put. There's no way that I'm going to do a bull put on this hook down here though. I need, we need full waves. We don't need this choppy stuff like is happening in here. That's why I'm going up here. And Tesla, just two more to go. We'll finish early today. Tesla still trying to figure out what it is doing. Might be a good 20 delta trade up here. See what kind of price we can get with what expiration. Uh, let's take a look at 
next week. If we can get far enough away. Um, let's see how much we can get from this. 51 cents. Uh, no, that's a 10 to 1. We don't like that. That's why we like to stick with the 20 delta. So let's see if we go out to two and a half weeks from now and get a 20 delta here. Yeah, okay, so here we have a two dollar. This is a five to one almost. So this would be a short at 220, which would be up here. Um, this stock has been known to make some large moves and to have to hold it for at least a week or so in order to get some money out of it would be just a tad bit too risky. So I'm leaving that off of the 20 Delta trade. Just have to go out too far and I'm not feeling comfortable about that. And last, but certainly not least, is Visa. Um, are we in an uptrend or are we in a downtrend? I don't know. We might have, you know, higher lows and higher highs, but now we have, if this pulls back, we have a lower high and it may just continue in its downtrend. So do we have a good um, possibility for a 20 delta here on the bear call side? I want to put it on my list for today for the under 20 delta for a bear call. So I'm also throwing in a yellow circle up here. Might as well figure on possibly working both sides of this because this is kind of a consolidation here. So where would we be looking at? We looked at don't want to go 17 days and I suppose it can go 17 days all right so if we did a bear call there we would be at 21750 which is up here might be a good play could be a good play so it's on my list uh, 17 days to expiration and if we're in it you know 10 or 12 days and it's working out and we got some money we're profitable, we get out. Depend well, a lot depends on the price action too, but if it continues marching down, then it's a good play. We could play both sides of this. If we get a move down here and then a hook back up, we'll slap a bull put on it with the same expiration and we would have us an iron condor. Alright, so that's it for today. Um, Ladies and gentlemen, thank you very much for watching. Have a great day and happy trading.